satna is one of the most happy, exciting teachings in the, I ever experienced was the whole idea of yogurt baths. Have you ever thought about that? I've told people about yogurt baths and they go, what? But in the 70s, Yogi Bhajan gave this, started giving this teaching about how you can take yogurt and let, let it sit out for a couple of days. And it it's something that you can use to clean your body, clean your mind, just relax deeply. And if you let the yogurt sit out for a few days, like three days, just buy some yogurt, about a tub, you know, like that. And then I like that Pavel's yogurt because it's kind of thin and watery. And it's very natural. But whatever works for you, people make their own yogurt. I used to make my own in the early days when I had time. <laughs> but now it sits on the counter for three days. And then you put, go into the bathtub. And yeah, you, it, it's better if you have a bathtub for this. And then you wash the tub out, you heat it with some hot water and then let it drain out so it's warm. And then you take your clothes off and you get in the bathtub and then you take that yogurt and you plug up the bathtub so the drain is closed. And then you put yogurt all over your body, in your hair, in your face. Every single part of you gets yogurt rubbed into it. And then you let it sit there for a second or two. If you, I notice if you go too long, it makes you itch. So I, I don't wait to waste too much time on that. And then you pour, uh, turn on the water, the faucet. Turn on the hot water and then some cool. Try to get as hot as you can. And yes, you have yogurt in your hair. It's all like totally wet. And then lean back in the bathtub and just relax. You can put bath salts in there if you like, or some oils. Somebody suggested once turmeric in the yogurt, but that makes everything yellow. So I don't suggest that right now. I, I think it's too hard to get out of the sheets. So anyway, you sit in the bathtub for about 31 minutes, as hot as you can handle, and you just soak. And by the time you get done, your fingers should be kind of rippled a little bit. And just relax. You can put on some music. You can put a candle on beforehand. You know, if you have some TV show you want to put on your laptop over on the on the counter, you know, whatever works for you that makes you stay in the water 31 minutes. And then when you're done, you empty the bathtub and get out and you go into the shower or, you know, wherever the shower is and you wash your hair, wash your hair with some like nice natural shampoo, rinse your body off, get all this, the yogurt off. It pulls the poisons out of you and it makes you very relaxed. And when you're done with that, wrap up in a, a towel, Wrap up in a, you know, dry yourself off, wrap up in a, a quilt, you know, put on some nice relaxing clothes, drink something. Like it's best to drink some kind of warm milk, any kind of milk that you like, anything relaxing, not coffee. And drink something relaxing. Milk's very relaxing, warm milk. You know, warm soy milk, warm, you know, almond milk, warm oat milk, just something. And then eat a little bit of food. And then go get in the bed and go lie down and go to sleep. Take a little nap. And you'll wake up maybe an hour later or something and you're going to feel like, oh, I'm a new person. I'm totally relaxed. I feel so clean. And then you can start living a life that's, from that point of view on, happier, more relaxed. So that's the story of the yoga bath, Satnam.